Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve a problem related with Kitcha's voltage law. And the problem is find the current through 3 ohm resistor in the circuit shown below. And here this is the given circuit diagram. And here we need to calculate the current that flows through this 3 ohms. Right. So before to proceed, we have to assume the direction of current that flows in these closed paths. Right. So here, generally we always assume that the current flows from lower potential to higher potential. That is the current flow like this. We always start from the source voltage. Right. And similarly here also the current flows from lower potential to higher potential and therefore the current here will flow like this. Right. So we are assuming that the current flowing through this first loop is I1 and this second loop is I2. Right. It's up to you. You can take this as I1 and this as I2 also. Right. Everything will be fine. Then the next thing is, so from the flow of the current, we can tell that the current that flows through this 3 ohm resistor. Right. You see here I1 current comes like this and here I2 current comes like this and they both flow together through this 3 ohm resistor. Therefore, the current that flowing through this 3 ohm resistor is I1 plus I2. Right. So, now we are going to calculate what is the value of I1 and I2. So, the First step is, you see, here we had calculated the current through 3 ohm resistor as I1 plus I2. Right? Now we are going to apply Kitcha's voltage law to the left loop. Okay? Or to the first loop, whatever may be. So here again, what is the Kitcha's voltage law? Sum of voltage rise is equal to sum of voltage drop. Right? So here... Always the voltage sources are considered as a voltage rise, right? So in the first loop, we are having only one voltage rise, right? And the remaining two are the resistors. So they will produce a voltage drop. Therefore, here the voltage rise is 42, which is equal to the respective voltage drop is 6 into I1, right? Because the formula for voltage is I into R. So here the current flowing through the 6 ohm resistor is I1. Therefore, I1 into R plus here the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor is I1 plus I2 that is nothing but plus 3 into I1 plus I2. Right. Now just multiply and frame a expression like this that is 3 I1 plus 3 I2. Again here we are having three, 2 I1 terms so 6 plus 3 will give you 9 I1 plus 3 I2. Right. So this is your equation number 1 here. And the next thing is we are going to apply Kitcha's voltage law to the loop number 2. So here again voltage rise is 28 volt and voltage drop is produced by this 12 ohm resistance and this 3 ohm resistance. So here just frame an expression. Voltage rise is equal to the respective voltage drop is the current flowing through this 12 ohm resistor is I2. Therefore, 12 I2 plus 3 into I1 plus I2. Right. Now, again, just multiply and simplify the expression. 12 I2 plus 3 I1 plus 3 I2. So, finally, which is equal to 3 I1 and 12 plus 3 gives you 15 I2. Right. These are our expression number 1 and 2. Now, we are going to solve these equations. So equation number 1 and 2 and again you see when you multiply equation number 2 by 3 we can cancel this I1 right. So when you multiply this expression by 3 you see 3 into 3 9 I1 15 into 3 45 I2 and 28 into 3 gives you 84 right and we are writing this expression number 1 here as such okay we are not doing anything. So now here when you subtract these two I1 cancel each other. So, 45 minus 3 is 42 and 84 minus 42 gives you 42. So, here when you calculate the value of I2 is equal to 1 amps here. Right. Now, substitute this I2 value in equation number 1 here. Right. So, here the value of I2 is equal to 1 amps. So, just substitute it. So, 9 I1 plus 3 into 1 equal to 42. Right. So again when you rearrange 9 I1 is equal to 42 minus 3 and therefore 
again when the value of i1 is 39 by 9 which is 4.33 amps here right so finally we have calculated the value of i1 and i2 and initially we had framed an expression right that is the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor is I1 plus I2. Now we know the value of I1, we know the value of I2. So just substitute it. So you see that finally the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor is I1 plus I2 which is nothing but 4.33 plus 1 that is 5.33 amps here. Right. So this is the first method of solving this problem and we can use matrix method to solve. So I will show you how to solve the same problem using this matrix method, right? So here again, the thing is, we are framing an expression in terms of V is equal to I into R, okay? Everything here is written in the form of a matrix, right? So here the thing is, V is nothing but voltage source. Again, we will have a look at the problem. So here you see, we are having how many loops here? We are having two loops here right so what is the value of voltage source in loop 1 it is 42 volt and what is the value of voltage source in loop 2 it is 28 volt here so so you see the voltage source in first loop is 42 and the voltage source in second loop is 28 right and the respect to current flowing through the first loop is i1 and current flowing through the second loop is i2 Right, now here you have to do it carefully while writing the value of resistors. So here this is the value of resistor in your loop number 1. Right, and this is the value of resistors in loop number 2. First we will look at loop number 1 here. So when you look at loop number 1, you see what are the resistors here? We are having 6 ohm and 3 ohm. So 6 plus 3 will give you 9. Again when you consider your loop 2, Loop 2 has 12 ohm and 3 ohm. Therefore, the value of resistors are 1515 here. Right. So, that is why here 9 is written and here 15 is written. And between loop 1 and loop 2, we are having a common resistor. Right. What is the value of resistor there? So, between loop 1 and loop 2, we are having a 3 ohm resistor. Right. And to this 3 ohm resistor, you see both the currents are flowing inwards. Right, there is no opposite direction of flow. So, here just write the value of resistance as 3 ohms there. Right, now we have framed an expression. Then the next thing is we have to calculate the value of del. So, here del is nothing but the determinant value of the resistors. So, 9 into 15 minus 3 into 3. So, that gives an answer of 126 here. And the next thing is you just proceed to move to del 1. So how to calculate del 1? Again this is purely mathematics. You have to replace this first column by this source voltages. That is 9 and 3 should be replaced by 42 and 28. Right. So just substitute it and the answer is 546. Again to calculate del 2 you see. Here you have to move this second column and you have to replace this second column with 42 and 28 here. Right, so here we can calculate the value of del 2, that is 126. Now we are going to calculate the value of I1 and I2. So here I1 is nothing but del 1 by del. Right, so the value of del 1 is 546 and del is 126. Therefore, the value of current is 4.33 amps. Again, the value of I2 is del 2 by del. So that gives an answer of 1 amps, right. So again from the diagram, you see from the diagram, the current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor is again I1 plus I2, right. So I1 plus I2, so here we had find out the value of I1 and I2. So just substitute the values of I1 and I2. So the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor is 5.33 amps here, right. So here comes the end of this problem. You can solve the problem as you wish. There is no restriction that you should always solve the problem in this method. Right. You see, we had solved this problem using these two methods and everything gives the same answer. The main thing to be always to keep in mind is you should be clear with the concept. Right. 
even if you take the direction of current in reverse also again you will be getting the same answers right there is no doubt in that so that's all if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you